Hello everyone, welcome to another edition of Wrestling News with the Dude. So before I get to some wrestling news, I did not make wrestling news yesterday. It's because I actually went to watch the movie called Fighting with My Family. This is no doubt one of the best movies I've watched in 2019. For those of you who have never seen it, go check it out. It's pretty good and enjoyable to watch. This movie was actually based on true story. Don't get me wrong, it's always fun to see an actress who played as Paige from the movie. Go watch the movie if you haven't already, but don't go until this video is over. Anyways, here are some great news and not so great news. Samoa Joe is your new United States Champion and thank god not only that he finally won his first title on the main roster but he's also going to make the US title more prestigious and relevant again. WrestleMania 36 coming to Tampa Florida next year. Speaking of WrestleMania there's been a speculation that Undertaker will not be making his appearance at WrestleMania 35 because he's currently on his break and has no one else to field with next. Another wrestler who will not be at WrestleMania 35 is Tommaso Ciampa. For the past two weeks, Tommaso hasn't appeared on Raw or SmackDown because he has suffered a neck injury and will require a neck surgery. It's not bad that he will come back sooner than later. It's about four to six weeks according to Ringside News. But unfortunately, he will certainly be forced to miss WrestleMania this year. It sucks that this was off to a bad start when he was called up on the main roster. Now, I don't know what's next for Johnny Gargano. We'll have to wait and see what's next for Johnny Wrestling. Both of them are part of the Dusty Rolls Classic Tournament on NXT and yeah, they're still part of NXT roster. Speaking of NXT, one of the few wrestlers who was supposed to make his debut on the main roster last January and that man is Lars Sullivan. He was supposed to make his debut on Raw and attack John Cena which set these two face off at WrestleMania 35 where Lars is supposed to defeat John which I believe it should happen like this. He had an anxiety attack and an entire WrestleMania plan for Lars Sullivan has been scrapped. He seems to screw up his chance so far and either he can try to make it up after WrestleMania or he could be the biggest joke of the company. <coughs> Brodus Clay. Anyways, let's get to GTS Wrestling from yesterday and today's video, shall we? One of the highlight moments from yesterday's video, Matt Wolf cheated on Kurt Bale. And this scene seems very familiar to me. And yeah, Kurt actually knew that this was a setup. Oh yeah, we can't forget about Justice D. Richards who have rights to demonetize because Tony actually said he's going to give Francesca a p right while singing a parody song of Hookah Hogan Roku American. We also had a random tag team match as Tony Chidi and Francesca successfully retained their titles by defeating Matt Wolf and Kurt Bale. Yet next, we have one of the highlight moments from today's video. It happened last Monday when Grim, Tony Chidi, and Francesca confronted Kurt Bale and Jared Connor about their business investment. Whether Jared needs to invest GTS or get exposed on the inter internet. Oh yes, Jared actually wanted Kurt Bale to beat the crap out of Grim and walk out with the YouTube title in a Wars in the Woods match. Otherwise, if Jarrett loses money, this would be the end of AWE Wrestling. Later that night, Monday Night Raw took place at the home of Extreme Championship Wrestling, known as Philly, Pennsylvania, and also Onslaught and Mike Swanson's hometown as well. 
These AWE guys, including Marcus Schuyler, confronted Grimm about exposing the rich investor, which could be the downfall for AWE wrestling. Grimm actually made a nickname for Mike Swanson, who is being known as Philly Fort Sniffer, and also Marcus Schuyler, a two-bit string brother. I couldn't get what Grimm actually said about Marcus. Let me know in the comments down below and tell me what did Grimm actually said to Marcus. Oh yeah, Kirby, an overgrown 8 year old from Onslaught's perspective, was actually there too. Along with one of the ninja twins, Kirby called Onslaught a balding 30 year old man. Thus we got a usual brawl outside of the arena immediately, but at the end, Grimm and Kirby stand tall with their famous three words catchphrase. And the last one for today's video, Tony and France had their relationship issues that affect their UWC bookings because Francesca said that she's going to wear a superhero bunny costume for the indie show but instead she ended up wearing her regular singlet attire. I may have realized that Francesca is like the next heel wife. Isn't it ironic when Tony and Francesca are actually in the same room where Grimm and Barbara used to sleep in their room at the old house? No kidding, right? See for yourself. Take a look at the room. You've got your answer. Anyways, thank you for watching this video. If there's anything you want me to talk about, leave your thoughts in the comments down below. Don't forget to like this video, share this video, and subscribe for more content. Peace and good day. <laughs>